Hi guys and gals, welcome back to Talon's Plague Inc. Evolved Guide. Now, we are on to Fungus. Fungus is an interesting one. It does evolve its own symptoms in the same way that Virus does, just not quite as much. But it is not as easy to get to spread. The whole point of this is it sort of is happy in its own country, but it doesn't want to go anywhere. So that's what we need to do to basically is to encourage it to spread around the world. So we're going to start in China. It's a, a nice country to start from because it's poor and also it's, it's got a lot of links to different places. So we will see what we can do. This one takes a long time to actually get going. So I have to speed it up just a little bit. Okay, we've got a few points. This time we're going to go with... A cold one to begin with. So we're going to be going to some cold countries. See, this is not spreading quickly at all at the moment. But we do not want this detected until as late as possible in the game. We'll get drug resistance. Then we'll go with air and water next. Just the drug resistance should speed up the, um, the process quite a bit. over there, that's 8, water will be 8 as well, so a few points in reserve in case we have to devolve anything. So at least it can now travel. So then now because it's gonna gonna start taking off a few other places sometime soon now. <coughs> thing to start spreading around the world a bit. Symptoms yet because I'm not having this detected. It's my bollocks, and nobody else is finding out about it. Now we're starting to go. This is just in China, though. China's got a massive population, but even so, it's a good start. Especially if we can get it to start travelling by air and water. I know it's 14, but I want a couple of points in reserve in case we have to devolve this into a hurry. We're in no particular rush with this one, by the way. We're quite happy just ticking along, just letting it do its own time. Go with water. Do we go on a ship over to America or something like that? Uh, 
Right, let me just have a think about this. I think... We are going to have to get it some genetic hardening, because when they do find out about this, they are going to want to research it as quickly as they can. So we're starting at other places now, that's thanks to the error. before I start setting up in a couple of ships' places. So what we'll give it. Let's go to Sin Asia, we'll give it heat. Oh, that's going to be some 1.12 points. Point. There we can. We are getting there one country at a time. Well, we're right up into Russia. Genetic hardening once if it does kick off at least with some some defense. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Extreme bio result. I was gonna say that. No, we don't want a symptom. Just that extreme bio result should get this going around the world a bit now. What my plan is for this is, once the whole world's infected, I want as many points as possible. Ideally, 70 points, 80 points, something like that, to really wipe people out in a hurry. So as soon as they find out about this disease, they're just dead before they know about it. So I could, you know, spend points on extra abilities to get it down into Africa and stuff like that, but I'm going to try and save the points at the moment. So we're getting into the Australian Islands now, Indonesia, we're into Africa. Australia. Mexico. Where are these places are? Where's that? Ukraine. So as long as they fungus, it's, it's a slow process, but it will get there. We have a nice amount of points now as well. Still totally unaware, totally unaware that we're killing them. Or infecting them, as the case may be at the moment. 
We haven't been detected in the least. What I'm waiting for is for one boat to go from the UK straight down to Brazil or something like that to get some South America. Now with fungus we've got the ability, I should have mentioned this, to do a thing called, where is it, transmission, no, abilities, a spore burst. What that does is we can literally, oh it's in Greenland, if we've got a couple of countries left we just haven't been able to get into, like Iceland or the Caribbean, we can just do a spore burst and it will go pop straight into their country. And what's useful about that is that the Caribbean and New Zealand, Greenland we've now got, can be really hard to get. So if we haven't got them by the time this finishes, there is a way to get them. Still don't want these symptoms. <coughs> Slowly getting out of Africa now. Europe's almost under our control. That's a nice amount of points of building up. Canada's creeping too, so is Greenland. I don't really want to spend a load of points on getting cold resistance too, so like I say, it might be a bit of a long one this one. Feel free to skip forward, but we really need these points to wipe out people fast because this research will go quick. That's New Zealand gone. Wait for a ship to get to South America. Across the land border into, into the land, we'll see. Slowly getting work out with uh, Greenland now. America's creeping up. It's Japan. It's just Spain, South American countries. Caribbean. Oh, Italy still hasn't gone. Okay, there's a couple of important ones left, but we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Festival of Love in Mexico. That would give us a nice little boost. Now my target is 80 points. If we can get to 80, I'll be very happy. on the way out now. Canada's being very slow. America's getting there. Taking over more and more of Africa. Don't think of Iceland yet. Nope. I'm still waiting for a ship to get up there. Or a plane. Ah, we're in South America. Philippines. That could have been a problem for us. We still haven't got into Iceland and the Caribbean. These are the two that I'm a little bit bothered about at the moment. So I would have liked to have been in there by now. Okay, I'm kind of just getting there. Alright, we're on our favoured figure of 80. Oh, is Italy? Perfect. Okay, that's the last European country then. I don't know why Italy's so hard to get. It's always, or well, usually, the last European country to go. Oh, 
and still blissfully unaware. We do not want symptoms. Let's take a little while to get some of these places. So how many are left now? Peru and Iceland. Right, what we can do with those now is we can go into abilities, do a spore burst, evolve. That will get one of them. That's got Peru. We'll spend another few points just doing another spore burst. Oh. That will get Iceland. So at least we're all in all the countries are infected now, now it's just a waiting game until everyone's infected. How much is genetic hardening to twenty-eight? South America's nearly gone, apart from Peru. West Africa's getting there now. Canada has been so slow. If, if the point is, I could get an, another cold weather boost, but I think it's about 30 points or 32 points, and that would just not be a very good thing at all. We really need to try and preserve our points on this one, because we need to kill people very, very fast. Speed up, though. Okay, at least the bar is moving on Canada now. How's Iceland doing? Creeping. Again, the reason it's going so slowly in these three countries here especially is simply because I didn't buy cold, cold hardening too, and it really helps with these, but I just can't afford the points. This will be one of the quickest wipeouts of humanity that you'll ever have see. We're not far off of infecting the world now though. Italy, oh, that's Italy on. Wow, Italy's going to take a little bit of help. Iceland, New Zealand's getting there, Canada's getting there, Japan, so yeah, Italy and Iceland are the problem too. That said, Italy will get there because their ports are still open, yeah, it's just creeping. Once it does take hold, it will take hold. There we go. Not one of the symptoms. Right, so Iceland's on the way out. It's just a sleeve we're waiting for now. And that is about the spiral. Left now, let's have a look. Yep, Italy and Iceland. Iceland's now on six, Italy's now on six. So they're getting there. There we go. 
Sup, there's still people left in Iceland, but I'm not, no, that's gone now. It's season 17. inside them. Poor old bollocks. And there we go, that should be it. Waiting for the notification. Well, it hasn't said it, but there's no healthy people left in the world, or I don't think there are. There's a few dead, 100%. No healthy, so let's get killing. Right, we are going to go. These tend to be an infection. We are going to go for pure death, so we will go cysts. Hypersensitivity. Paralysis, coma, total organ failure. We'll hold off just for a second on the last one, because that's going to start killing people pretty quickly anyway. We've got enough points, actually. That's why I'm going to do it get genetic hardening too, because they're going to want to research this fairly soon. Too late, Mexico. Yeah, look at these deaths rise. They're focused on the cure. Unfortunately, we have got all the genetic hardenings. Hopefully, this is going to start going up with the deaths. So if they get a bit too close, we should be able to do a genetic reshuffle. Rocket now, now we're getting the points. The is the higher this bar gets, the slower that bar gets, so I think it's fair to say that we are gonna absolutely annihilate them. how quickly that you can actually wipe out the human race. So what, let's give the last billion something to, something to do with their time. Let's give them inflammation. Let's give them seizures. Let's give them pulmonary fibrosis. <laughs> and let's give them insanity, which makes it significantly hard to cure. Oh, we still have points. Oh, they're going to have to have abscesses. Bollocks to destroy humanity. There we go. And 
my god, this government's fallen. Spain government has fallen again. And there we go. It's the end of the world as we know it. Victory! <coughs> Got a three star again, that's absolutely wonderful. And that is fungus. So I shall see you next time.